Chris Mitchell with Northeast Kingdom Mental Health Service out of Derby, Vermont, was holding my daughter hostage. Without a doubt, I'm going to tell you, I have already showed you the evidence on a previous YouTube today, uploaded the paperwork to prove. I have a copy of the email request for investigation as well as you hear on this audio recording, I called Vermont 911 a hostage complaint. So why did my daughter get taken away from the phone where I was her safety net, put into the Vermont State Police Cruiser? Why was the AAA call declined? After it was already told that there would be somebody there to retrieve my daughter and her car to bring them home to me in Maine so she would have a place to be after being frivolously kicked out by Michael Hatton. Okay, so noting that Brianna was in despair with no place to go, Vermont State Police continues to fuck with her. Chris Mitchell had her locked in, so therefore, rightfully, he should be charged with criminal activity of hostage holding my daughter. She was not under any care or direction of him. He was supposed to be helping her find a ride. He hindered her. He held her hostage in the locked doors of Mental Health Northeast Kingdom Human Services. With that being said, there needs to be charges and an investigation into all of Northeast Kingdom Mental Health Services, Department of Human Services, and Vincent Luzzi, who is the malicious prosecutor behind all of this. That led to an involuntary psych hold and shot up with medications, okay? And this is in the court system. It's been reported. The police denied to do anything about it. So myself, I took initiative to do the civil matter about it. And I'm going to let you hear some of it right now. <laughs> There's a copy of the online report. This is a game they play with the mental health services, locking people up in psych wards in Vermont. So what happened to the report, Matt Birmingham? Would you please tell the public why nobody was able to make a, a suggestion? And why didn't Chris Mitchell... 